Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on memory. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. Do us a favor, find anything this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, cool, we're gonna hop in. This video is gonna be uh, specifically focused on memory for your R240 server. Uh, so we're gonna hop in and show you all the different highlights. Uh, we're gonna install it at the end uh, and show you some uh, best practices when you are doing your upgrades, okay? Uh, so for the uh, the highlights, it's a, a DDR4-based machine. There are four DIMM slots inside, which is pretty usual for a machine that has only one CPU. Uh, it takes a number of different speeds, 2133, 2400, and 2666. Yes, you can install uh, 2933 or a 3200 speed. Do note if you do install 3200 speed in uh, 2933 for that matter, you do need to make sure that you have an updated BIOS or it might not actually accept it. Um, and when you uh, do install those uh, 2933 and 3200, they're going to clock down to 2666, which is your true fastest speed. And we did try that with uh, Intel Xeon E2100 and E2200. And even when you're using the E2200, they both clock down to 2666. So just kind of know going into that, that that is going to be the, uh, the max speed. Okay, what about the sizes? Well, this is an interesting thing. It depends on what's actual and what Dell says. So Dell's spec sheet will tell you that you can put in uh, four gigs, eight gigs, and 16 gigs and max out at 64 gigs. However, we played around with this and you can actually put in, yes, four gigs, eight gigs, 16 gigs, but also 32 gigs, which means the max for this machine is 128 gigabytes using four 32 gigs at 2666 speed. And again, you can put in faster speeds, but they're just gonna clock down. So that is your true max right there um, and the most that you're gonna be able to get out of your R240. So now that we've covered a bunch of the highlights, um, let's go ahead and hop in and we'll show you how to actually do your upgrade. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and actually do the upgrade. So I put out uh, everything that we're gonna need, which is nice and simple, just the memory module. So we'll go ahead and put these to the side. We're gonna pop the latch, lift open the top, pretty much like any server you've been in before. So again, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna need to lift the air baffle just like we did in our CPU video. And now, voila, we have access. Now, I actually do one thing I do want to note that's kind of cool about the air baffle, and this is pretty much true for most Dells nowadays. Uh, it does list on here uh, what the DIMM slots are, so A1, A2, A3, A4, which are also labeled on the motherboard itself. Um, so you'll notice right now there's literally one 8-gig stick, and it's in A1, and that's going to be this white DIMM slot. Um, so we're going to remove this to start. So I like to put my hand on top of it so it doesn't pop out, and you're just going to simply pull this straight out okay and um, let's go over the slots to start so these two white slots are the starts of the two memory channels which means there's two dims per channel so this is a1 and this is a2 and this is a3 and this is a4. So if you were only putting two DIMMs in, again, you'd want to put them in the two white DIMM slots. And people ask, well, why would I, you know, put them in the, the two whites as opposed to, just say, the closest two to the CPU uh, or the furthest two from the CPU? Well, you want to, again, uh, put them in um, the starts of the memory channels, and you want to have an even balance across all of your memory channels so that you're basically just getting a nice even distribution, and this will maximize your overall performance. Because think about it almost like a bottleneck. If you have one channel doing all the work and another channel not, not doing anything, um, that's not you know going to be helpful. So you want a nice even distribution. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, uh, and we're going to do it as if we were only putting two in to just show people at home the two slots, even though we've already highlighted that. But we're going to stress that point. But Ultimately, what we're going to do here is put 128 gigs in, doing four 32 gigs, okay? So first thing I wanted to note, if you notice right here, there is a notch known as a key on the leads, and that notch is important because it's not perfectly centered, it's just slightly off, so you have to make sure that you line up properly with the little black notch that's sticking out of the, uh, the dim slot. So again, just line this up perfectly, and we're going to start with A1. And you'll notice I'm not holding the module, but the module is not actually seated right now. So what you're going to want to do is push it down and here these two clicks. And you'll notice the tabs are going to actually, when I do this, are going to come in and they're going to pull the uh, the dim slot down a little bit. So you want to hear click, click, okay? Now the dim is fully inserted and you'll notice 
from these other tabs back here how much further out they are than this tab. And that's what I always tell people at the end to do as well, is to double check all of your tabs and make sure uh, that it is fully seated. So now we're gonna go ahead and install this one. All right, and that would be if you were doing two dims. Now what I recommend is four and maxing this out. Um, so now we're gonna come to A3. And now we're gonna do A4. So we officially put in 128 gigabytes. Now again, these are 3200 speed that we actually installed, which is fine. We just need to make sure we have the latest BIOS on our machine in order to uh, support 3200 speed, but they will clock down to 2666. Just wanted to re-highlight that point. So there you go. That's the upgrade. Nice and simple, uh, easy overall. If you're looking for any uh, memory upgrades yourself, please email us at sales at cloud ninjas.com. Or if you're even looking for a custom built R240 or any other server for that matter, we build uh, HPE, Supermicro, Dell, IBM, Cisco. Um, if you're looking for AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables. Uh, we kind of cover the whole uh, life cycle and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.